Weeks after a meteorite tore through our skies, people are still combing for souvenirs. But at least one of those rock hunters isn't searching for where they ended up necessarily, but more looking for where they came from. Chopper 5 gave him a view from the sky. To get where he needed to go. And then just adjust across the waist. Peter Jeniskins had to strap in. What he's looking for is a little easier to spot from up here. We're literally, literally looking for a hole in the ground here because the, the soil layer is fairly soft and it looks like that rocks are just punching through. Yeah. Jeniskins is a NASA scientist tracking the path of the meteor that crashed in Utah last month. From Chopper 5, he hopes to spot the pieces that fell across the salt flats, dropping down when something promising catches his eye. No. On the ground, more exploring. So it does look like uh, something was dug out here. Uh, so it's quite possible that a meteorite did fall on this uh, location. No rock left, just an empty hole. But even that knowledge. So uh, this is a big uh, arrow pointing, pointing that way. Can help map the path. The adventure continues. It's not so much about the treasure or even what it's made of. It's about where it came from and the millions of years of information he can learn from it. Embedded in each rock is evidence of when it left the asteroid belt and how long it spent in space before landing. It's enough to make him want to come back, even if today he leaves with only more clues of where to look. For me, this is just fascinating. This is as close as you get to touching the skies. I mean, this is really space coming to meet us.